Good morning YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're out at the retreat location in West Virginia and I'm about to begin my monthly battery maintenance check on our off-grid solar power system. And I've done this in the past and what this involves is checking the water levels in the battery, make sure they're at the proper levels and if they need water I can add distilled water to the batteries to get them up to the proper level. And then we're going to measure the specific gravity of the electrolyte in each cell. Now I have the Trojan T105RE batteries and I'll insert an image and the specific gravity for those cells at a full charge should read 1.277 for specific gravity. Now in the past when I've done this I've shown these hydrometers here. I have two. One I bought locally at the auto parts store and then one I ordered off of Amazon because it had a temperature compensation scale here. But I've never been really confident in the readings because there's stickers that are placed either on the float or actually on the device itself. So the calibration was always suspect with me and the feel wasn't quite right. Then I stumbled across what they call the refractometer and that's going to be the subject of today's video, how to use this. And I have to say I'm very impressed with this. I got it for less than 55 bucks off of Amazon. There's other websites that sell them but they charge a lot more. So check around and I'm going to insert the part number in the link in the description below. I can't show you now because I have the lid open so I didn't plan ahead. But anyway, we'll put that in the description box. But what does come with the refractometer is, of course, the refractometer. You get a disposable, what they call pipette, for taking a drop or two of electrolyte out of your battery. And again, remember, this is acid, so always wear gloves and safety glasses. You get some distilled water, and this is used for calibrating the meter when you start to use it and adjust for temperature compensation. And a small flathead screwdriver and under this rubber cap is an adjustment. So for calibration, what you'll do is you would take two drops of this distilled water, place it on the glass, close this lid down, and the water will spread out over the glass. You'll look through the eyepiece, and I'm actually going to insert an image of that that I capture with my iPhone. And there's, you can adjust this for focus, and adjust that screw head there to where the blue and the white line perfectly match the water line mark on the display. Then you clean it off with a cloth, which came with this, but I left it back at the house. And then you can start checking your actual battery cells by taking two drops of electrolyte out of the cell, placing it on the glass there, closing the lid, and then taking the reading through the eyepiece. So what I'm going to do is pause here. I'll actually insert the two images of the scale and what it looks like when you calibrate it for water. And then we'll go ahead and pull out two drops of electrolyte so you can actually see a reading from one of my cells. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we just got out from underneath the deck. We checked the 12 cells. There's three cells per battery. I have four batteries, and the readings are within the, the average, but there's some differences between the cells and between the batteries. So we're going to go ahead and run the equalization cycle this afternoon. We're going to have a nice sunny day, so the charge controller will be able to get up to current and voltage to give us a two-hour equalization cycle on these batteries. And I'll put that in the little record book that I have that we did our equalization for August. I'm going to insert some images that I took with my iPhone looking through the eyepiece to show you how this unit actually measures specific gravity. And it's pretty accurate. I, I think if you take a look at this, this is a, a really impressive piece of test equipment and is going to be a permanent addition for my off-grid solar power system. I'm going to get rid of those other two hydrometers and give them to a neighbor who's just starting up his own off-grid solar power system. And I'm going to use the refractometer that I got from Amazon this week. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And this has been the comms prepper with a short video on the refractometer and checking the specific gravity of your off-grid solar power batteries. Thanks for watching, guys.